For years we have seen squirrels scattered in parks and other places. Some even mistake them for rats. But did you know that squirrels are becoming more and more relevant in society? More and more people are learning squirrel facts after realizing how much squirrels help. Vicinity Their most important contribution to the forest is to shape the composition of plants, squirrels bury seeds in the forest. If you want to know fun facts about animals all around the world that you know or have not seen before, start now by subscribing and clicking on the bell, so you don't miss anything let's continue. These animals bury them all over the forest, and when they come back to look for them, they forget where they put them. When that happens, they actually plant seeds that change the composition of the forest over time. Expansion of the forest, change of tree species there. People now love squirrels so much they even have their own Thanksgiving Day. January 21st is National Squirrel Appreciation Day. But where do these creatures come from, and how did they become pests for others? The first documented introduction of squirrels to American cities was in 1847. Today there are more than 200 species of squirrels in the world. Check out our squirrel facts for answers and other interesting details. For information, squirrels are generally small animals and can grow to be 10 to 14 centimeters. Typically, squirrels weigh around 12 to 26 grams. Adult squirrels live 10 to 20 years in captivity and 5 to 10 years in the wild. Squirrels' four front teeth grow about 6 inches each year. The oldest squirrel fossil found is about 11.6 million years old, i in addition to eating nuts. Squirrels also eat insects. Normally, squirrels are herbivorous, feeding on fruits and nut seeds. However, they also eat insects such as butterflies, caterpillars, and larvae. Some squirrels will also eat meat, especially when they are hungry. Squirrels also eat mushrooms, soil, bird eggs, and animal bones. For captive squirrels, owners should avoid feeding them foods known to be bad for them. However, these cannot cause any permanent damage to your squirrels. Some of these foods are cashews, junk foods, crackers, dried corn, salty foods, and bread. Some squirrels live longer than dogs. Squirrels living in the wild have a shorter lifespan, they usually live between 6 and 10 years. But those who are in captivity live about 24 years. However, their life expectancy varies from type to type. In American red squirrels, the male is reported to live longer. As a female, but only for a few weeks. This species can live up to 8 years, but most species living in the wild barely live for 2 years. Southern flying squirrels live between 3 and 5 years. They are also the only known flying squirrels in North America. Fox squirrels can live up to 18 years. Male fox squirrels live up to 8 years, while females live up to 13 years. Black squirrels are not a different species. These black squirrels are considered aggressive and belong to different species. However, scientists say these squirrels are the product of breeding and interspecies mating. Black squirrels are the result of gray squirrels and fox squirrels. They are the same species as gray squirrels, but they acquired their fur through a faulty pigment gene from fox squirrels. Black first met in Letchworth, England in 1912. North America reportedly exported them to England for private zoos. Today, black squirrels are more commonly seen in Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire, and Hertfordshire. Some also say that black squirrels' fur provides more protection from the cold. Other squirrels live in trees. There are three types of squirrels, one of which is the tree squirrel. Tree squirrels are native to almost every continent except Oceania and Antarctica. An example of this type of squirrel is the eastern gray squirrel. They have gray fur, but can also have tan fur. Their tails measure between 19 and 25 centimeters. These eastern gray squirrels descend from the top of a tree first. They rotate their feet so that the claws on their hind feet point backwards and grab the bark of the tree. They are also known to be most active in the early and late hours of the day. Eastern gray squirrels build their nest, also called dray, in tree forks. Drays consist of dry leaves and twigs. Their nests are between 30 and 60 centimeters in diameter and insulated with feathers. There is also dry grass and moss to prevent heat loss. Eastern gray squirrels also share a tray to keep warm. 
Yes, some squirrels fly. Pederastini is the scientific name for flying squirrels. They don't fly like birds, but they glide from tree to tree. They have patagium, a parachute-like membrane that stretches from wrist to ankle. Other animals like bats, flying lizards, and flying frogs also have the same trait. They also have longer tails to provide stability while gliding. These flying squirrels use their limbs and tails to steer and gain control while gliding. You can escape from predators by sliding from tree to tree. However, owls, tree snakes and hawks still manage to capture them for food. They live in forests and deciduous trees, these are the ones that shed all their leaves for part of the year. They will occupy woodpecker holes, abandoned bird nests and nest boxes and make them their homes. Two types of flying squirrels are northern and southern. They are the only two native species found in North America. Ground squirrels live in burrows, these types of squirrels live on the ground. Ground squirrels often live in meadows, cemeteries, parks and golf courses. They can also be found on ledges and fields. Their diet consists of fruits, seeds, mushrooms and nuts. However, they have also been known to eat rats twice or triple their size, ground squirrels are known to stand up on their hind legs. They also do this when they sense danger nearby or need to look over tall blades of grass. Flying squirrels get into attics. Drop. Although they build their nests in trees, they can also be found between floors, flying squirrels have been reported to carry parasites, lice, fleas, and mites. If you find a squirrel in your attic there are probably more hiding there as they live in colonies of up to 20. You can also hear a grating, faint, soft chirping in the middle of the night. You should also be careful around these creatures, especially if they have already entered your home. Flying squirrels tend to chew through electrical wires and can start a fire. Watch out for squirrel droppings. Squirrel droppings look like rat droppings but are slightly larger. It is elongated, thick, and rounded at the ends. His stool reportedly turns white over time. They depend on the moisture content of your food, foods with a lot of moisture cause loose, lumpy stools. But with low moisture foods, the feces can have pointy ends. Leptospirosis is a bacterial infection transmitted through the urine and feces of animals. He has squirrel droppings in his house. People infected with leptospirosis may experience flu-like symptoms or severe breathing problems. Squirrel bites and scratches can be more dangerous than you think. Squirrels will panic and attack if they feel threatened by humans. While rabies is not a cause for concern, it can transmit other types of diseases. Lyme disease is an infection caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi. Ticks carried by squirrels can infect humans with this disease, the use of antibiotics is sufficient to treat this if caught early. However, arthritis, facial paralysis and palpitations are signs of serious symptoms. Salmonellosis is another type of infection caused by the bacterium Salmonella. You can find this type of bacteria in animal feces. Symptoms include vomiting, intestinal cramps, and diarrhea. Treatment of this infection includes electrolyte replenishment and hydration. The squirrels are very free. Female squirrels tend to mate with multiple male squirrels when in heat. A few hours. The male will wait until the female is receptive before approaching her, male squirrels chase the female in heat into their territory. If a dominant male finds the female, he will mate with her. Mating lasts between 1 and 25 minutes. There are several ways male squirrels compete with each other. First, it attacks another male who is mating with the female. The male waits somewhere in the female's territory to catch her before other males do. And don't forget to watch the previous videos in the channel, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the upcoming wonderful videos see you again in the next video.